it is time for another update and upgrade energies this is possibly one of the most significant dates of this year i would say although of course when aquarius goes stationary it's also very 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 important but the lion's gate traditionally the lion's portal has been very powerful and this year it actually has a triple power because we have the eight eight and eight is the year 2024 so be aware this is very significant and we are talking now about july 28th until august 12th so the energies are already coming in and you're already having access of course the the peak the senate will be on august 8th but it doesn't mean we are already not in it and we are not yet experiencing it so this lion's gate for me is extremely powerful and the number eight in numerology please note i'm not a numerologist but i love the numbers of course has to do really with our own power and the own power from within it's also the sign of infinity and it also has to do with abundance and with money and so it's very exciting that we're having this triple eight this year coming up and i feel this is the dominant energy for this whole week that we are experiencing here and this stargate is again very significant we are still close to the galactic center we have now the lion's gate we have the energy of the lion which is the heart which is the generosity which is the passion which is the heart fire you know about the heart fire already if you don't i will mention just a little bit again in a while and so there's quite interesting beings of light coming through me and ascended masters and the first one who's coming in for me is merlin of course because i have a very special connection to merlin but it is it is his energy the, the energy of being able to alchemize to being able to transmute and that lightness and playfulness of Merlin as we are shifting. So it's really, really beautiful for me that he is here. It's still a very strong Egyptian presence. Isis is coming in. And of course, that brings us back to the rebirth. If we're really going consciously through the lion's gate, and of course, I will do a meditation for that, it is quite something. I want to say the least and I don't pretend I understand the full power of this lion's gate that we are all going to experience this week. So it takes us in the fields of love, of gratitude, of adoration, but also of truth. Leo in its true meaning is actually about truth. Leo is passionate about truth. I can say that because my ascendant is Leo, right? I feel this is this is very important that we start living really from the heart, that we start living in our truth. We're living in a world of lies. And I don't want to look at lies now as this is bad and truth is good. It's not about that. We're living in a world of lies so that we can actually recognize the truth. So see the blessing and embrace the truth that is coming through. We are all supported. The, the planets are in perfect positions and the energy that's flowing through is really allowing us to come into this truth, into this love, in this gratitude. And as we had last week, be really aware how you speak. Are you speaking from anger or frustration or, I don't know, from victim? What is the role you're speaking from? This time, through this week, through this lion's gate, I'm inviting you to leave all of this behind. I know it's not easy to let go of things. I know healing is not easy. That's why nobody can do it for you but yourself. It doesn't mean that healers don't have a purpose. So don't get me mixed up. It's just that the healer is not healing you. And so as we're going through this portal, it's very important that we really let go. Letting go is actually healing. And so this lion's gate is really inviting us. 
And again, I come back to the sixth dimension. I wouldn't be surprised if it opens already the seventh dimension. It goes really fast now. So we talk a lot about fifth dimension. We talk a lot about third and fourth dimension. What does it all mean? It's our state of being in which we are operating. So we all have access all the time to the 12 basic dimensions and states of being. It's also related to consciousness, it's related to self-realization, whatever comes to you now, presence, it's that. The thing is that it was very difficult for us to hold it, to sustain it, to maintain it, to settle it. This is how Lemuria and Atlantis could actually not continue because they couldn't hold 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th dimension. Doesn't mean they didn't experience it you experiencing all of them but you will see coming through this lion's gate now that you're experiencing less of the third and the fourth dimension and as i mentioned last week as well money has a lot to do with it so let yourself be surprised it doesn't mean that all your money issues are going to settle it doesn't mean that your relationships change overnight to the money but you will see something is shifting internally but of course also externally quite a lot of people even predict that the money system is gonna fall apart and that doesn't mean that we're gonna have the digital money it doesn't mean one or the other and actually we cannot predict it and i feel all of this what's happening right now is very unprecedented so please don't make too many assumptions don't try to preempt the magic it's going to be what it needs to be. And most importantly, please remember you are part of this. So what are we going to upgrade for you today? It has to do a lot with the access and the sustaining of the higher frequencies and the higher dimensions. And it also has a lot to do with living more from the heart and truly recognizing that our blueprint is no longer a blueprint but a gold print and that gold print has a lot to do with the number eight so I don't pretend I can translate or understand or transpose all the light codes all these messages, all this information. It is more like we use the words so we can remember, but not remembering what happened, but remembering that frequency, that light codes, so that we can start living it. Remember we are, and many are reminding us now, Remember, we are soul beings, star beings, light beings, or spiritual beings, whatever name resonates with you, in a human experience. And to be here at this time is actually quite phenomenal and a blessing. It's possibly one of the only times when we truly shift from one to the other. Homo sapiens, men and women of the mind, operating system, suffering, survival and into Homo Luminous, operating system, heart, love, compassion, collaboration, co-creation. I could tell you more, but this is the essence. So it is also coming to me now that in this upgrade with all the light codes coming through, it's also about the truth that I said. So it's not about judging the lies because then again, your voice doesn't speak of love, what we talked about last week, but it's accepting it as it was part of our experience. It doesn't mean I accept the lie as in, it's very difficult to express that now. It doesn't mean we feel that lying is the way to go and this is how we should live, no. But the lies did serve a purpose. If you haven't been lied to, 
you don't know what your truth is. So let's take it out of the personal accusations. You did this, you said that. It's not about that. It is a lie. And my truth is not that. So let's see what's coming through in this light language bridge for you. As I said, uh, Merlin is here with me. Isis is here with me because we're still in the rebirthing process. Hathor, so it's very Egyptian magic unfolding here. And she is known as the goddess of love and fertility, which for me goes a little bit also into the number eight. And Rumi coming in again. He says, heart is my domain. And even if he is not a master to anybody else or an ascended master, whatever we want to call it, he is to me. So let me tune in to that new fields of love and going through the lion's gate. Yes, in the meditation, we, we're we gonna journey through because we can. But for now, let's just get that upgrade into our being. That upgrade of the gold print, holding the higher dimensions, frequencies, and consciousness and states of being with more ease. That consciousness allows us to make these choices in our heart, in our higher heart, in our voice again. And embracing all these beautiful frequencies of the Lion Gate. enjoy all these beautiful light codes that are coming in for you and that beautiful bridge into homo luminous into being able to truly experience and live those higher dimensions living from the heart and yes it is our unique choice and finally at the time you're listening to that we are still in lima and before the end of this week we will be back home in the jungle and we will continue what we're doing remember we have beautiful retreats and it's easy to get them on the website in everything that we do we have a conversation to with you sorry this is not automated because we feel it's important that we have that personal one-on-one -on -one connection or Ceci and I can talk to you of course together as well for you to truly get that connection and to truly be sure and we being sure that this is for you yes we are in this all together and yes we are all going through alliance gate we're all going through these upgrades and we are Ceci and I the song calls from the song calls worlds the worlds of the heart yes we are basically working with almost everyone because we feel this is part of our job as long as you make that choice to have sessions with us or series to go on a retreat with us to enjoy our school yes the classes the courses are coming up soon and of course we love to see you and our circles so this is something um, that will come out very soon and it will start in November so we put it out early enough so you can get in we choose to work with usually one to four people sometimes up to eight it depends to ensure that we have that intimacy and that space and time, although everything that we do tends to be slow paced. We have enough fast life. The rhythms here are slow. This is our guidance so that we can truly connect. And this is another very important thing. Yes, Sicily is on. I can't tell you how much it's booked by the time 
you are listening to that, but I'm very sure there will be a space for you. I put all the links in the description so you can find your way to it. And yeah, we love to see you. We love to hear from you. We love when you are subscribing, not because we need more numbers. No, because we love you to be part of this community of the bridge to new earth so we can weave this new earth together. And well, this seems like to be it for today. So thank you so much for being here. And this will possibly be the last one of the last ones you see me from the hammock while we are in Lima. And the next one will be recorded when we are back. So see you soon. Happy Lion's Gate. And just let us know how you're flowing. Much love from my heart to yours.